Well, some of the most influential art from the last 40 years doesn't hang in galleries. Austin Moore introduces us to an Oklahoma artist whose canvas is often in some unlikely places. Off Clawson Boulevard, near downtown Oklahoma City, Yadika Fields works alone, taking his time finding the path of this mural. I'm, I'm a compositionalist and colorist, and I can kind of paint whatever, but when it comes to the wall, you kind of got to observe that and then kind of figure out what you're going to paint, what's going to fit best in this spot. Now, this, since this is an elongated wall um, and not too high, it's good to have, you know, kind of smaller things kind of going sideways and jetting down in motion, almost like a tumbleweed or something. Um, I guess you could really have a, a set mock-up and execute it, but I think the joy and fun of a mural is kind of being with it and letting it evolve. Evolution is at the heart of this project. It starts with a young man from Stillwater, Oklahoma, growing himself as an artist while traveling the globe. I just got back from Portland and I was doing a mural there. And that was huge. Um, it was probably as long as this, but it was about 40 feet high. And I had a 40 foot lift. So I was on it, but it's the rain, it's the rain season in Portland. So I was, um, that was pretty challenging. The building here has evolved too. This half belongs to a bell bondsman, but the other half has been transformed from a very traditional office into something more. 1219 Creative is a creative, collaborative co-work space. Uh, we have large offices, small offices, co-work desk, which are low cost and low commitment, and a, a communal uh, work area and conference room, plus an art gallery, um, because we like to keep things creative. And the art form itself of combining spray paint and blank walls has evolved from a misdemeanor crime to a point of respectability that even the most traditional of businessmen can find value in. Normally you wouldn't think of the Bell Bonds uh, owner as the guy who wants to do public art. But actually, uh, J.B. Askins, who owns uh, Abraham's Bell Bonds, said, I've got this huge wall out here and I'm seeing murals go up around town and I would like for someone to come do a mural here on this wall. And of course, uh, the artist here in the facility, we thought, man, that's a beautiful idea, it's fantastic. Something that would be good for the building, good for the area, good for the neighborhood, and continue on that general I idea that we have in Oklahoma City right now about making things great and doing great things and really having pride in where we live and work. Spray paint's come a long way, especially since graffiti and marketing it directly to artists, you know? I mean, when spray paint first came out, it was, <laughs> it was not intended to go paint on trains in New York, you know, but it was and it evolved. And there's that word again, evolved. The art form, the canvas, and the artist have all taken journeys, growing and changing. That theme of personal movement is at the heart of this piece of public art something that can serve as a reflection for a city undergoing its own evolution. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Yadika Fields and his art, we have some very interesting time lapses of him working on our website at okhorizon.com.